Now imagine if you can send $100 to anybody that you want to help in the world. Well, you can. Bitcoin, blockchain technologies, Ethereum's, these platforms are revolutionizing the world. And what I want to talk about today is charities. I believe charities are one of the most oldest and archaic systems around. If you really think about it, charities are kind of like a catch-22 oxymoron. There's a problem originally, whether that problem, let's say the problem is education in a country. A charity comes around to fix that education in the country. So the whole purpose of the charity is to go there, do what it has to do, fix the problem and disappear. However, they never fix the problem. So the whole point of the charity is kind of defeated because they're not really putting a dent in what's going on. And that's not to say that there aren't good charities, there's many good charities out there. However, if we're weighing the pros of charities versus the cons of charities, personally, in my opinion, I believe the cons outweigh the pros. Well, look at it. Most charities aren't transparent. They don't have an open ledger. They don't tell you and I where they put their money. They don't tell us what they, what they do in the organization. They don't tell us anything. All they ask is for money. Give us money, give us money every single year. Money, 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 money. It's like we're feeding a mouse cheese nonstop. Second of all, do they actually make a debt? You know, there's millions of charities out there. I'm, I'm gonna be pretty honest with you. I don't think so. Majority of them make even a slight dent in the problem they're trying to solve. So imagine this if we can bypass all the charities. And I just wanna put aside a caution over here or a side note. Once again, I'm not saying that all charities are bad. There's great charities out there. One, one in particular though I like is Pop. Pencils of Promises or Pencils of Promise. Check them out, they're fantastic. But I would say the majority, I put them underneath the rug, they're no good. So imagine this, we create a blockchain system just for charities. And there's some already, I believe the one is called Coinwater. And uh, they're using cryptocurrency to help people get clean drinking water around the world. Now picture this. You and I have a phone, we can go on an app and we create our own blockchain type of system. And why blockchain is incredible for charities is it creates an open ledger. So I'm gonna do a quick recap of what blockchain is based on the Bitcoin platform. You have an open ledger, open transaction. You see exactly the whole history of every single transaction that has ever taken place, period. From the time of inception till this second right now. And this is where what gets really exciting when it comes to charity, it's the network effect. The more people that actually mine inside of the network, or in this case, more people that have a proof of stake, I won't get into technicalities, let me just bypass that for a second. But the whole ideology or the whole ethos around blockchain is, it is open sourced, everyone can see what's going on, everything is transparent, and the power comes from you and I as individuals. We're not giving our power to a third entity, and that entity being a charity. So picture this, once again. You have a phone, and we see a person in need. Let's say somebody in Syria, and they need maybe a hundred bucks for something. Or maybe we'll say a thousand dollars to get out of the country because they may be killed. So instead of us giving money to a charity, which then has to go to the country, deal with bureaucracies, governments taking money, mafia taking money, relatives taking money and everybody taking pieces of the pie because they're, they're middlemen leeches. Instead, you and I send money instantaneously to their phone. They have any cryptocurrency, it doesn't have to be Bitcoin, doesn't have to be theory, uh, Ether, like I just mentioned, the coin water, they made their own currency. And that currency actually has a tangible value. It can go in exchange, they can tra transform it to USD money, they can transform it to Canadian money, they can transform it to whatever they want. So the whole point about this is, A, is bringing back power to the people. Because the whole point of charities is, let's face it, the whole point of charities is you and I wanna help people. It's human empathy. I have empathy with people who are fucking struggling around the world through dictatorship and through you know, unfortunate situations, natural disasters. You and I wanna help them. Well. Everybody has a cell phone around the world. Even African tribes in the desert have cell phones. Everybody has this. This has revolutionized the world, revolutionized history of mankind. So we can go on our app, many apps out there, or we can even create our own blockchain system. 
you see people and help. They, they download the app on their phone. Even if they don't have the in internet, we can do some Bluetooth stuff. There's so many ways you can do that. That's the potentiality behind this. They tell us their, you know, their account number. We send them the money. An hour, two hours, three hours later, they have money on their phone. They are their own Swiss banker. And they can do whatever they want with the money. Now picture this. It doesn't just have to be money. With blockchain technologies, we can send them documentations. We can send them any information without a third party jumping in and stealing that information. Without governments coming in and stealing that information. Without the mafia over there stealing that information. Without other so-called you know, relatives stealing that information. We are empowering human to human, human to human, peer to peer helping. Truly helping an individual from one to one. And that's the power of blockchain technologies. And this is why I'm making a call out to charities out there to, hey, listen up. We all know the majority of you are bogus, completely bogus. And people are waking up. So I have high hopes in the future that the more monies we invest in blockchain technologies and figuring out the applications around it, that it's actually gonna revolutionize how we help people globally speaking. And uh, a great report came from this uh, charity organization. Uh, actually, let me go find it, one second. Yeah, it's uh, from a Charities Aid Foundation and they did a 20-page in-depth report about the applicability and the potentiality with blockchain within the charity space. So this third-party uh, source has already confirmed that this is the direction that charities need to take. They need to become less involved, so take away the middleman, become transparent, create the power from A, us as giver, to B, as receiver, so no middleman, and truly empowering each individual on both sides, as opposed to somebody in the middle telling, oh yeah, you take a piece, you take a piece, we do this, we do that. So I got high hopes, and I'm super pumped about where the next five years, six years goes. And like I said, there's a couple of charities around the world already transforming the industry by creating their own charities, creating their own coins, really helping people around the world. So if you want more information about this, Go check out the Charities Aid Foundation. They have the big report over there. In fact, I'll leave a link below this video. And uh, I would actually like to know your thoughts about this. Like, where do you see blockchain in the future? Where do you see charities in the future? Leave a comment below this video and peace.